The Sultan of Brunei is among the richest leaders in the world. He boasts a net worth of about $30 billion and makes approximately $103 every second. He has managed to turn Brunei's prolific amounts of liquid gold into actual gold literally by doing absolutely nothing. So why don't we take a look at the incredible life of the world's laziest yet richest ruler, the Sultan of Brunei. It's no secret that the Sultan of Brunei likes his cars and when you're as wealthy as he is, you can have pretty much any car you could dream of. The Sultan owns approximately 7,000 cars, all with a combined value of over $5 billion. According to reports, he owns about 600 Rolls Royces, 450 Ferraris, and 380 Bentleys in his massive collection. Among them includes the Ferrari Mythos, a car that never made it into production, but the Sultan owns two of them. There's also the $3 million Bentley Java, one of only 18 ever made, but of course, Sultan Bolkaya has it in his collection and somehow it gets even more opulent than that. His collection includes numerous rare finds, like a classic gray Lamborghini Uraco, not the most expensive car in his collection, but can you really put a price tag on an antique? There's also his Ferrari 456 GT Venice, one of only 10 ever produced and worth half a million dollars, and his $14 million Rolls-Royce Phantom II, nicknamed the Star of India, one of the most expensive cars ever sold at auction. If it wasn't already incredibly obvious, the Sultan really likes his cars. In fact, he likes them so much that back in the 90s, the Bolkaya family accounted for almost half of all the Rolls Royces sold in that decade. And then there's his gold-plated custom-made Rolls Royce. It features an open roof and a platform for an umbrella. You can have an insane car collection, but is there anything more regal than sitting in the back of a golden Rolls Royce and waving at your subjects? You tell me. The Sultan doesn't just have a love for luxury cars, he loves his private jets as well. Although his jet collection is nowhere near the size of his car collection, a good thing too because where on earth would he park the darn things? The Sultan owns three private jets, a Boeing 767-200, an Airbus A340-200, and the crown jewel of his fleet, a gold-plated Boeing 747-400, truly fit for royalty. The Sultan apparently also gifted his daughter an Airbus 340 for her birthday. Talk about dad of the year, am I right? Sultan used his incredible wealth to turn his Boeing 747-400 into a proper floating palace. Not very much unlike his real golden palace, but we'll get to that later. He spent at least $100 million purchasing his Boeing 747 and then another $120 million decking out the interior with all sorts of luxurious finishes, like what he did to the master bedroom on this massive plane. For example, as you can see, there's a pretty obvious color scheme, opulent gold. Both the bedroom and its luxurious bathroom are decorated with gold and lalique crystal, and yes, that does include a golden sink. When Sultan Bokaya isn't in his floating palace, he's chilling in his actual golden palace, Istana Nurul Iman, which, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is the world's largest living residence of a head of state. This massive royal dwelling is several times larger than Buckingham Palace, and it's arguably even more luxurious. The palace stands on the banks of the Brunei River. Several kilometers south of Brunei's capital, it's a massive pristine white palace with golden domes and minarets. The curved roofs of the buildings and the huge golden dome of the palace mosque attract sightseers from the nearby Perizarian Damwon Park to the banks of the Brunei River. The name of this magnificent palace is Istana Nurul Iman, meaning Palace of the Light of Faith. It apparently took only two years to build and more than $1.5 billion was spent on its construction. The architect of the palace's exterior was Leonardo V. Loxon, and the interior was done by Kuan Chu, who also worked on the construction of Burj Al Arab in Dubai. If you're wondering how $1.5 billion was spent building this palace, just know that behind its traditional architecture lies some incredibly luxurious ultra-modern decor. I'm talking Italian, marble and granite from Shanghai, English glass and the best Chinese silk. Gold and marble were the main themes for the palace decor, of course. 38 different kinds of marble were used for the decoration of its interior, and there are 44 staircases made from marble. Remember when I said the palace was big? Well, allow me to elaborate. The whole palace covers 2.1 million square feet of space. It contains 1,788 rooms, which include 257 bedrooms, 250 bathrooms, a banquet hall that can accommodate up to 5,000 guests, a mosque large enough to hold 1,500 people, and a 110-car garage. 
When you live in a home with five swimming pools, an air-conditioned stable for your 200 polo horses, a helipad and 18 elevators, does it get even more royal? And then there are the little touches of regal luxury the Sultan likes to add to his day-to-day -day life, little things like how he commissioned his very own private zoo, a $10 million playground that features about 30 Bengal tigers, falcons, flamingos, and some incredibly talented cockatoos. They can play basketball, ride bicycles, and imitate other animals. According to the Sultan's zookeeper, that is a big surprise. Sultan Bokaya likes to entertain world leaders there. There was also the time he got one of the world's most successful golfers, Jack Nicklaus, to design a golf course for him at one of his hotels, the Empire Hotel to be exact. A five-star resort that comprises stunning private beaches, lagoons, five pools, six restaurants, and a championship golf course, of course. All of that, plus a host of other activities and experiences, means a single night here can cost you upwards of $250. The Sultan also likes to splurge. I'm talking about spending obscene amounts of money on luxuries most people would never dream about. And no, I'm not talking about the time he paid $70 million for an oil painting by Pierre-Auguste Renoir called Young Girls at the Piano. No, I'm talking about how he spends $20,000 on a single haircut. According to the Times, Sultan Bokaya flies out his favorite barber from London, first class by the way, about every three to four weeks just to cut his hair. Everything is paid for, of course, and I mean everything, from the $12,000 plane ticket to the hotel to the luxury food, and then he gets paid with a thick envelope filled with thousands of dollars. If there are any rich monarchs out there watching this right now, I don't just make YouTube videos, I also cut hair. You can find the Sultan traveling around with an entourage of over 100 people. Even if he's going on a shopping spree or traveling across the country, he's routinely surrounded by several people, bodyguards included. Whenever Sultan Bokaya travels around the globe, he only stays in the finest hotels, where he rents out the entire floor and apparently spends as much as $1 million per trip. And that isn't even the Sultan letting his hair down, because when it comes to partying, nobody does it like Sultan Bolkaya. One of his famous parties was when he spent approximately $40 million on his 50th birthday. Throwing an insane two-week birthday festival, he even had the King of Pop Michael Jackson himself singing for him. There was a 3,000-person guest list, and each guest received a party favor of a gold medal on top of being stuffed with the finest champagne and caviar. Pretty insane party, right? Well, according to Forbes, the party cost him only one-tenth of a percent of his net worth that year. The Sultan of Brunei is far more than his massive collection of luxurious valuables. He's one of the most unique monarchs out there, and he's lived a pretty unique life to boot. Sultan Bolkaya has been married a few times. He first got married in 1967 to his first cousin, Saleha Binti Mohammed Alam. He also married a former flight attendant for the Royal Brunei Airlines named Aisha Mariam, who he divorced. And finally, he married Azrinas Mazar, a prominent TV news anchor. They also divorced, but at this point, the Sultan already has five sons and seven daughters with his three wives. Speaking of which, his eldest son, the Crown Prince, is on track to become much wealthier than his father ever was possibly reclaiming the position of richest head of state in the world. The Crown Prince was born in 1974 and was proclaimed Crown Prince of Brunei in 1998. He currently holds several roles in the Brunei government. In preparation for him to become the 30th Sultan of Brunei, he's said to be an incredibly wealthy Sultan. That's if there's much of a family fortune left when he comes into power. That royal family has found themselves in a financial conundrum in the past, and that was thanks to another member of the royal family, Sultan Bolkaya's brother, Prince Jeffrey. Apparently, Prince Jeffrey spent an average of $747,000 a day for 10 years. The notorious Playboy Prince is known for his lavish spending and is thought to have spent more money than any other person in the world, potentially even outspending his brother, the Sultan. Prince Jeffrey was accused of misappropriating state funds to the tune of $14.8 billion. The millions in art, cars, and other luxuries had to be sold off to repay his debts with the rest of his prized possessions seized by Sultan Bolkaya. Well, this is one sick family, I tell you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that was the world's laziest yet richest man alive for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get all the interesting updates.